I've known Brian for about 15 years. 15 years, and I uh, have one story I like to tell when, uh, when we first met. Uh, we didn't actually didn't know each other, but I have, we had a mutual friend named Jeremy. And you know how when you're a kid, you kind of lend things to one person, and then they travel around, and then you ask that one person for that object back, and they're like, well, I need it to so-and-so. Well, Brian just happened to be that so-and-so who had a couple CDs that I had, so I was so determined to, to get my stuff back. <laughs> Went over to his house, knocked on his door, met this guy. Hey, do you have my CDs? Yeah, sure. Give it to him. And next thing you knew, it was about midnight, 1 a.m., when we were still talking, having a good time. We really kind of clicked. Personalities matched, almost like we were friends in another life or something. Well, anyway, he ended up being a couple years old, a couple years older than me. I don't think I was 17 at the time. Brian, you were about 19. 19, 20. He drove me back home, and I have some, had some really kind of strict parents. And, uh, you know, your son comes home at 1 o'clock in the morning with a guy who drives a white Acura Integra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't exactly, uh, they're not really too fond of that. And 1 o'clock in the morning, this Acura Integra pulls up to my house. And I get out, this, get out. And here come my mom, my mom, running down the driveway. Buries into the driver's window. Don't you ever bring my son home at one o'clock in the morning again? Who are you? And you could get Brian an absolute third degree on everything. And, you know, I tried to play mediator in the whole nine yards, but you know, a couple days later, you know, here comes Brian to my house again, and our friendship was born. So that was 15 years ago, and I'm looking back at that, going, "I'm always the time gone." But, but Amber, you surely have found a really special person in Brian. I'm really, really happy to be both of you. Um, Brian, Ack, Brian and Amber were actually the uh, individuals who caught the bouquet and garter at my <laughs> wedding in 2007. <laughs> so I feel like the superstition is true that people are going to catch it. I'm going to get married. So I'm going to be single people. I want to see hands up at the time to catch it. So, congratulations to the both of you. And uh, look forward to uh, what the future might bring. Toast. Okay, hello. Uh, 